is Anthony. I'm one of the, well, I'm actually the off-grid energy specialist for the company. We're here today in uh, Point Cook in the uh, western suburbs in Victoria. I've got uh, Ross here with us. He's our uh, main head installer for the company. And uh, he's just gonna go through one of the uh, solar and battery systems uh, that we've done here today for uh, one of our awesome clients. Uh, take it away, Ross. Yes, yeah, so what we've installed is a um, LG Chem battery, 10 kilowatt hour with a SMA Sunny Boy storage. And the solar is being fed from the SMA Sunny Boy solar inverter over there. Yeah. Awesome. So, can you tell us a little bit about like what uh, the Sunny Storage actually does in like a, a system like this? Yeah, so what it does, it basically takes the battery power um, and feeds it back to the home. So once the battery is fully charged, um, this Sunny Boy Storage will actually read how much power your house needs and it will give you as much as it needs, up to uh, five kilowatts worth of power any time. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and so what what happens like when the the power is like disconnected and we have like a blackout? Yeah. What what happens in, in that situation? So this sunny storage will actually take over the whole home. It will provide power to a um, a whole single phase. Uh, all your lights, all your power, anything that's running, it will automatically change over, and you'll run completely off the solar and batteries, essentially off grid, um, while the blackout is happening. And when the power comes back on, it'll automatically flick back to the power. Awesome. Yeah, it's okay. really cool. You yeah, know, that's really, really cool. And is there a reason why we're using all SMA here? So SMA, Sunny Storage, and the SMA Inverter? Yeah, well, the SMA stuff's really good quality. Um, Sunny Boy Storage made in Germany, um, comes out of there. It's got a 10 year warranty on all the parts and um, just really solid, stable equipment. We from all the ones we install, we, we don't get any callbacks and uh, warranty claims. So um, that's why we choose to yeah, go with the SMA combination. And in the monitoring portal, it shows all the equipment, nice and easy for you to read. So you can see the consumption and the battery charge and everything, yeah. Okay, awesome, okay. And so inside here, can you just tell us like what's actually going on here in the most simplest way? All right, so this is just the communications board for the Sunny Boy storage. And what makes the Sunny Boy storage unique is that it can actually control three individual individual batteries. So most um, inverters can only do one battery. This one can do three. So you can see at the top here how it's got A, B, and C. Um, that they're all inputs for three different batteries. And when I say different, I mean they can be different brand, um, different age, completely different. And the Sunny Boy storage through this communications board will manage them all independently. Um, and that's good if for uh, future proofing yourself. So in another two or three years, this is still um, good for the new batteries that come out with new different communication. So when you say like new, new batteries, so um, at the moment, that's a lithium ion battery, right? Yeah. So yeah. does that mean that you can only connect lithium ion batteries so to this? Most likely it'll be um, the same chemistry type. It'll have to be the same chemistry, but batteries, um, the actual communication, the technology can change as well. So how much they can discharge and how much they can charge um, and the capacity as well. So that's 10 kilowatt hour. Uh, who's to say, you know, in two or three years, you get the same size, but 20 kilowatt hour, um, you, you simply be able to plug it into the next port over while still being able to use the existing one yeah. and it'll just manage them all. Yeah. yeah, okay. So in terms of like the house at the moment, so 10 kilowatts yeah. of, of battery storage, like what does that actually mean and what can it actually do? Yeah, so you can, you can expect probably to get around you know, 10 to 12 hours of battery life um, per, per usage out of the battery. That's going off just so we average the house at one kilowatt per hour. Because um, this is like a what, a three bedroom, four bedroom home? Yeah, it's, it's about that, yeah, fairly yeah. new three, four bedroom home. Yeah. Now, um, 10 kilowatt hours will give you about 10 hours. Okay. So it's more than enough to cover yeah. this, this home's usage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. No, awesome. Okay, That's very good. Sam, have you got any questions for us? No, I don't have any questions. Well, you've got a few questions. <laughs> I think. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how you sort of um, recommend products to people that are off the grid? What, do you, what sort of questions do you want to be asking if you're off the grid, and what sort of things should you be looking out for? Yeah. Okay. You yeah, know, that's a good good uh, question. So. Generally how it works with, with off-grid, 
and um, making sure you know that you're doing the right thing by the client. It's all about you know understanding what's actually happening with their current situation. So what's actually happening, you know, at their property, whether it be you know a farm or you know it, it, it's a family that's wanting to you know escape Melbourne and then you know build a new home. It's all about understanding you know what their requirements are. So understanding, you know, are they going to be using, you know, fridge freezers, washing machines, dryers, um, split systems. So um, with a, a split system, they are um, quite a big yeah. usage. Yeah. So when it comes to off grid, you want to make sure that, you know, you're using the right equipment to be able to, to run all of that uh, heavy usage. So the main, the main things that you, you know, that we need to ask uh, homeowners is basically you know what they're planning on using how many people will be living in, in the home and then essentially you know sizing up the right amount of solar so you, you'd still have all your, your solar panels on the roof you'd have uh, a sunny boy inverter uh, and then there is another box which is called the sunny island which is very similar to the sunny storage it's a big yellow uh, box and essentially it, it, it acts like the grid. So in an off-grid uh, situation, there's basically no connection from the street or the poles. So you're fully uh, reliant on your solar battery and your generator. So in this case here, there will be you know a cable coming into the street and that's basically um, used as the backup. Yeah. The equipment does go down but the reason why you know we use SMA is because it's a, a German company they've been uh, in the industry for a very very long time you know big bigger uh, companies like BHP uh, the Australian Army they actually use this equipment I've actually got a client well, the company Sky Energy we've got a client down in uh, Frank's home uh, Steve and Carly they're a beautiful couple um, he you, he was in the army and he actually used SMA equipment. So you know he knew yeah. what the equipment was was capable of doing, and that's the reason why you know they ended up choosing SMA because obviously the reliability. The thing with a lot of the regional properties, because right now at the moment we're in suburban uh, Melbourne, we're in Point Cook. In the regional areas, the power supply out there is not very reliable. Mm. So what we've found over the years is that there's areas that are prone to blackouts. And so what happens is, you know, you could be, you know, having, you know, you know, your appliances running and then all of a sudden the power just shuts down. And that's what Ross was saying before yeah. with the sunny storage. What will happen is, so can you explain what, what happens in that scenario when the yeah. power completely cuts out? Yeah, so, so basically the sunny storage will stop taking power from the grid because it realises the grid has gone down, the incoming power, and it'll actually start discharging the battery power into the house instead. And it's got a safety mechanism in there which um, switches out the grid so no one on the power lines actually gets injured if they're trying to fix it. So everything's built in. Um, yeah. The customer doesn't have to flick a switch or anything. Power goes out, a couple of seconds later, everything's back on again, and the solar and batteries are, are now running the house. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. 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 And Steve and Carly, you know, now, um, clients, they've got you know very similar setup. Yeah, but they've got slightly different batteries, and um, and yeah, with having you know full blackout protection, yeah. but you know they won't even know that the power's been cut out. Yeah. So, and that was the main thing for them, you know, going to SMA the battery system is that they wanted to have you know peace of mind and assurance, knowing that you know if they did have a blackout, which they do, they get quite a few, that the system is just going to run um, effortlessly, you know, mm. seamlessly. 